Yeah, so I said it before, uh, right after the, the end of the game, uh, it was a game in which we didn't show up in the first half. A, everything that we practiced, everything that we talked, everything that we said didn't happen in the first half. Uh, actually, we said if we don't start the game the right way, um, this is going to be a tough match. And he ended up being this, you know, this type of match that we thought it could be if we don't put him putting the, the effort and the mentality to be able to be um, competitive in the first half. And uh, it, it's, it's not, there's nothing there to analyze tactically uh, than just to be better as a team uh, in the first half. Then the second half, we showed up and then it was different. We were pressing uh, much better. We were going the extra mile. We were just creating opportunities. We had a chance to be able to go 3-2 and and other chances to be able to even tie the game if we wanted to. And then uh, once you risk and you go up, it's going to happen sometimes that they're going to score the fourth goal. But uh, I saw a team in the second half, uh, a more determined team to create something. Seba came in, gave us uh, energy. Uh, the guys were a little more brave. Uh, and his goal went higher to press. And and I and I thought that was a much better first half, but uh, second half. But when you play the way we did the first half, then uh, the reality is that you have to catch up. Uh, you cannot allow a team like this to score three goals in the first half if we want to be the team that we that we talk about. Uh, and uh, this is not a season that we want to, you know, go a, game, a few games, play very well, score goals, win, then we lose like we lost today. Then we, we go, we want to be more consistent. We said that we want to be, more of a team that every single game is going to be very tough to play against, uh, and we were not the first half. So uh, very disappointed, as the fans might be disappointed as well. We're risen because of what we did the first half, and so much more to uh, take out from this game that needs to be much better next time. Um, but it cannot be always reflection on these type of situations because we shouldn't allow these moments to happen the way we did in the first half. Thank you. We'll go to questions, beginning with Ryan Clark, Oregonian. Hey, Gio. Uh, I was wondering about your thoughts on uh, the young talent that uh, FC Dallas has in the attack. Obviously, um, they were able to create a lot of chances and are, are difficult to contain. I'm curious about your thoughts on that group. Uh, I don't have to say much about their players because I think a lot of the things that they got as a, you know, as a success, we gave it to them. And they were determined to take advantage of those moments that we gave it to them. But ultimately, it was more about what we didn't do uh, that affected us than anything else. And um, so for me, it's more of a reflection on us than anybody else. So Sam Spiller, Sumtown Footy. As you know, uh, like you mentioned, the commitment and the just urgency was uh, a lot. It was improved in the second half, definitely tonight. Um, what do you think contributed to the slow start? And what do you think helped contribute to the team kind of starting to turn it around there in that first 20 minutes or so in the second half? Yeah, first of all, uh, blame the coach um, because the coach needs to do a better job to push these guys to do make sure that the first half is better. Uh, so it's my responsibility, first of all. Second, um, this guy needs to be better. They got to push themselves to make sure that we don't put a performance like we did in the first half. Um, uh, we, we have to be a better team. We are a much better team than what we showed the first half. Uh, but I'm tired right now to, to be able to just reflect on it because it happened which it should never have, you know, it should have never uh, happened in, in, in this match that we allow a first half to be uh, like this, so soft, so easy going, so giving it to them. Uh, and then when you, you know, when you then turn around and, and become more competitive, yes, yeah, sometimes you can catch up and, and, uh, and, and, and uh, come back in games like this, but some of the times uh, you put already, uh, a big hole in, on yourself and, and it becomes very difficult to be able to come out of it. Uh, so today we couldn't. We had the chances in the second half. We could have made it, but it still is not good enough in the first half. What a Paul Danzer, Portland Tribune. Hey, Gio. 
if I learned to mention on TV about footwear and shoes, is that something guys should figure out pregame or what exactly was going on with, with that and guys slipping around in the first half? Yeah, players need to be responsible to understand that uh, if I feel that the field is wet and, and I'm not a person that can stay on, on my feet, uh, if I don't have the proper shoes, then I have to make sure that I change it. Uh, so that shows part of the reasons why uh, the mind was not in the right place at the beginning of the game. Uh, all the players, they know how to play with the, the, the different type of shoes, the one that they use because they used to, and, and, and um, you need to know what shoes you need to wear in order to make sure that, uh, uh, that you can be more competitive in the match. In the first half, uh, that was a part of, uh, not the, the main thing, but it was a, a component as well that didn't help with all the other things that we should have done better. We'll go to Adam Luna. Hey, Gio, um, you, you talked about consistency, right? I, I want to know a little bit about what 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 is that you miss today in the, was it in the midfield? Was it in the defense? Where, where are you seeing inconsistencies? Inconsistence was today in the way mentally we approached the match in the first half. And we cannot, as I mentioned before, uh, go into a match um, so loose, so uh, easy going, allowing the other team to push you around, allowing the other team to get to spaces before you do, getting second balls because you're late, uh, all mental things that shouldn't have happened. And in order to achieve consistency, you need to make sure that you don't allow those moments to happen. Uh, and yes, we have had those moments in the past and we have come back. We just want to be a team that is more consistent as we have been the past three games in which we've been phenomenal in the way we played. Today, we didn't show up in the first half and then we have to make sure that uh, then we have to catch up in the second half and, and be better. And then we were, we came up outside in the second half and, and we were very strong. We were difficult to play against. We were creating chances. We could have tied this game. And then on a moment, which it can happen, uh, you know, on the counter, this is a team that counters well and, and they found a moment to be able to score the fourth. The problem wasn't the fourth goal. The problem was with the three goals that we allowed them on the first half, uh, just because we were not focused uh, in, 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 in the way we approached the game. Time for one more question. We'll go to Ryan Clark. Gio, what did you think of uh, David Ajala's performance uh, in his first career start? Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate for him that uh, we didn't perform the way we should have in order to make him uh, show more of all the good things that he did on the game. Of course, he's learning. He has to improve in, in different areas. But overall, I thought that on the match that was difficult, uh, he hold himself for a young guy to be able to come in and, and uh, battle defensively, try to uh, keep the ball, try to make good decisions, try to you know, find his way in the game. And, uh, and, and unfortunately, uh, all of us didn't uh, allow him to be able to succeed the way he should have um, during the match. And as I said, especially in the first half, in which he, I think, gave us, you know, some good things. But the entire team uh, collectively uh, didn't uh, put the performance to be able to allow him to succeed the way he should have.